If you are a Flutter developer, you might already know state management mess out there. Well, it's not right to say that it's a mess, but there are many options out there. Block, Riverpod, MobX, and many more. When I'm taking names of state management libraries, I'm not saying GetX because it is not only a state management library, it is much more than that. So in a refresher series of GetX, I will be briefly and point to point explaining you about what you can do by this single plugin called GetX. Without further delay, let's get started with our first GetX feature. You can use GetX library to make network calls simply by extending the data source with getConnect class. Let's say this is the API you want to get data from. To do that, create a class post removes data source, extend it with getConnect, overwrite the onIt onInit function and set the base URL of the API. To make a get call, make use of get function from getConnect class. The response type here is not HTTP response type, but this is a response type defined in the getX library. The request URL is formed by prefixing the endpoint with the base URL, response.request.url.normalize path. This response class has predefined statuses that you can get like connection error, is unauthorized, is forbidden, is not found, is server, or you can only check if there was any error with response.status.has error. Get the response by response.body string. And now you can pass the response as you do with any other library using JSON decode and then using from JSON to pass each element of the response into post RM. Now, the next point that I am explaining will not be ideal for every scenario, but because it is good, I am covering it. In each of the functions which make API call, we call from JSON to the of from JSON of the model class to pass the response. So this can be moved to init phase as well, just like the base URL. In on init function, set the default decoder to post rm dot from JSON. With this, all the responses coming from get API, post API, patch and delete APIs will pass the response using from JSON function. I don't find this useful for bigger applications wherein one data source there are get calls which can return list of items or a single item or in case of delete return nothing at all. So in these cases this decoder fails and throws exception. So I suggest you not to use it. There are other configurations that you can set in HTTP client like max or three drive, timeout, default content type, etc. Even you can add a authenticator layer to all the requests by using add authenticator on the HTTP client. Now we have talked about get calls. Let's cover the other rest calls quickly. To make post, put, patch, delete rest API calls, you just need to have the same functions post, put, patch and delete. That's it. It's as simple as that. I need not tell you that with post and patch, you need to supply request body parameters as well. Well, other than REST API calls, you can also connect with sockets. In this Medium article, you will find an example where it's demonstrated how web WebSockets can be used using GetX library. I will post the link in the description. So this was it about making network calls using GetX library. Did you like this video? Leave your feedback in the comments and show some love by hitting the like button and sharing this video in various Flutter forums. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.